The hardest part of keeping up with an ordinary CRM is entering data. Don't you get tired of manually adding emails and reminding your team to share theirs? We sure do, but Streak solves this problem with automatic email sharing. The first step to enabling this feature is adding contacts and organizations to our boxes. Once they're added, we can build a complete timeline of their interactions with our entire team automatically. In the first part of this video lesson, we'll learn how automatic email sharing works. Then we'll show you the different ways to add contacts and organizations to boxes so we can enable this feature. Check out the previous lesson on contacts and organizations to learn what they are and their relationship with boxes. Once we turn on automatic email sharing for a contact or organization in one of our boxes, Streak will add our team's existing and future emails with them to the box timeline. The sparkle icon shows us that it's been enabled for that person or company and which emails have been added automatically. Let's see how it's used in our daily workflow. I just got an email from Matilda asking about our product and I want to add it to our sales pipeline as a new lead. The first thing we'll do is click the orange plus button to add this email to Streak. This gives us a few options. First, we can add just this email thread to a box, which doesn't turn on automatic email sharing. This might be useful if we're tracking inquiries in our support pipeline and only want to include a specific email in the support ticket. The next option lets us add this thread and all of our team's emails with Matilda to whichever box we choose. This will add Matilda as a contact and turn on automatic email sharing. The third option pulls in all of our team's emails from the organization. So if we have other contacts at Matter Coffee, Streak will also pull in their emails. Let's choose emails with the Matter Coffee organization so we see all of our team's conversations with that company. We could search for an existing box to add these emails or create a new box in one of our pipelines. Our new box details are in the sidebar and we can see that Streak created an organization for Matter Coffee and turned on automatic email sharing. Remember the sparkles? Let's open up the new box to take a closer look at which emails are included. Once I enable automatic email sharing, my emails with the contact or organization are automatically added and shared in the box. Here's the email from Matilda that we just saw in my inbox. Streak also found one of my emails with another contact at Matter Coffee, Derek. Automatic email sharing also lets us see our teammates' shared emails with the contact or organization. Even though this email isn't in my inbox, I can read it and reply to the thread without waiting for an introduction. If a teammate has an email with our contact that they haven't shared yet, Streak will show us that the email exists, but we won't be able to see any of the email content. We can ask our teammate to share the email by requesting access. And after we turn on automatic email sharing for a contact or organization, Streak will actually let us know if it finds unshared emails so we can request access to all of our team's relevant conversations with one click. This becomes really helpful as our team has more and more emails with a person or company. If an email in the box timeline isn't relevant to this sales deal, we can simply remove it from the box. This won't delete the email from anybody's inbox. We can also keep emails completely private by clicking on the three dot menu in an email and selecting never share in streak. This overrides any other email sharing, so streak won't show any trace of the email in boxes or pipelines. Now that we've seen the basics of automatic email sharing and learned how to enable it from emails in our inbox, we'll walk through five additional ways to add contacts and organizations and manage team email sharing. First up is from the box itself. Streak suggests contacts so we can quickly keep track of who we're working with in each box. We can also create or add new contacts by typing in their name or email address. With an organization, it's the same thing. The toggle lets us turn on automatic email sharing and add their emails to the box timeline. Now that we've done this, any of Dominique's future emails with our team will also be added here. We'll see the same option in the sidebar of an email thread once we've added it to a box. When we're viewing our pipeline, we can add people and companies directly from the contacts and organizations column. 
Double click in the column and begin typing a name, email address, or domain. Streak will match our entry to existing contacts and organizations, or we can keep typing to create a new one. Once we've added the contact or organization, click the three dot menu to toggle on automatic email sharing for this box. We'll see our email data magic columns update as the emails are added. Each contact and organization has their own page in Streak, which we explored in the previous lesson. Contact and organization pages show us each box the person or company has been added to in our pipelines, and we can add them to additional boxes from here too. Click the blue plus button to open the sidebar and search for or select an existing box to add the contact or create a new box in one of our pipelines. The final two ways to create contacts and organizations are covered in detail in separate lessons. We'll do a quick overview here. The quick add feature scans our inbox for people and companies to add to our pipelines. We can create a box with a contact or organization and automatically turn on automatic email sharing to pull in their emails with one click. Watch the lesson called Autofill Your Pipeline from Your Inbox to learn more. We can also create contacts and organizations with the Streak Importer tool, which imports pipeline data from a spreadsheet. We don't have an option to turn on automatic email sharing via the importer, but we can enable it after we've added the contacts and organizations to our pipelines. Watch the lesson called Import Your Data from a Spreadsheet to learn more. In the next lessons, we'll show you how to use power tools like mail merge and tasks more efficiently with contacts and organizations.